Thank you, Ms. Madam President. I wanted to thank um, you for putting this resolution on the calendar and for bringing awareness to this important issue. Members, 12,000 women are diagnosed with HPV, a major cause for cervical cancer. That doesn't even include men. I want you to think about how important it is to bring awareness to this important issue. Currently, 79 million Americans have HPV, many of whom are not even aware that they're infected. Cervical cancer is deadly. In 2015 alone, cervical cancer claimed the lives of 4,074 women. The US, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services stated that early screening <coughs> and preventative care is crucial in preventing these premature deaths. We can partner with local organizations to make sure that men and women across Wisconsin can get the health care that they need, that they can get the preventative care through pap smears, through proactive screenings, through well women visits. Getting the HPV vaccine for both men, little, for boys and girls. Healthcare sources like that are sometimes difficult for people to have accessibility to. Supporting organizations that do that are crucial, and we have a tremendous opportunity to engage the public and to promote cervical health for men and women across Wisconsin. I would appreciate your support for this resolution. For the 4,074 women who have passed away, that it not be in vain, but that we know that preventative work matters. Thank you. Clerk, please read the next resolution. Senate Joint Resolution 77, relating to proclaiming January 2016 as National Blood Donor Month in Wisconsin by Senator Taylor and others. Question is adoption of Senate Joint Resolution. All those in favor? Uh, Senator of the 11th. Uh, Senator of the 11th. Uh, request permission to be recorded as voting yes on the appointments. Uh, without objection, so ordered. Senator of the 4th. Madam President, Madam President and members, I'll be brief to let you know that this resolution is extremely important. I don't know if you saw the news um, just in the last two weeks, if not the last week. There's a shortage of blood donations. And so they're asking anyone who's O positive to go and to give blood because that's the type of blood that they put on Flight for Life and put in different circumstances like that because it can be used by anyone. Red Cross states that 41,000 blood donations are needed each day to sustain our health care needs. Blood can't be manufactured. There's no cloning for that or created. Our supply comes completely from generosity of individuals being willing to give their blood. This is an important issue, and this resolution is to speak to right now the shortage that we have. I'd encourage you to give. I encourage you to lead by example in giving, encouraging you to talk about it on your Twitter and your Facebook pages. And most importantly, if you are O positive, I'm encouraging you especially to give.